Well hello again, another video. This is on how I've now incorporated my train announcements, my new system, with my station sign, which you can see there. I did this out to program one of these up two years ago. So uh, if anybody wants to look at it, if you go to, uh, the quickest way to get it is Hornby Railmaster Brand News smart screen because that's what it's called it's a smart screen from train tech and you'll see how, how to program one up now the, the actual unit itself when you buy it is this is the unit and then you have to buy the case separate you can have it without that leg on and so it hangs underneath a canopy you can have it to go into a train or a football stadium or something like that so they're very very versatile and one of the things you, you do is, is that one there is the name of your stations and that one there is the time. Now with that time, what you've got there is two defaults. One is 55 and one is 56. You can change them around, uh, you'll see it on the other video. But what I do in mine, my, this one here is called 80. But that is still 56, the clock. And what, how, do you, how you do the clock is quite simple. But what I'll first do, I'll show you some of the, the programs I've just built to do all these station signs. So first of all, we'll do Manchester. Now we'll do Houston. This is Houston. The next train to depart from platform 1 will be the 1515 cross country service to London Houston calling at Rugby, Milton Keynes Central, Watford Junction and London Houston only. A trolley service of drinks and light refreshments is available on this train. Customers are reminded to mind the gap between the train and the platform edge when boarding. This train is four of three coaches. There's another one which is one coming in. The next train to arrive at platform one will be the 1400 Trans Pennine Express Service to Grimsby Town, calling at Stockport, Sheffield, Doncaster. So what I've got there is I've actually, without all those announcements parts, I've got Glasgow, there, I've got Manchester, which is there, I've got Penzance, which is another one. So I've got, I've done uh, all mine, and then what you've got the forward and reverse are actually two more. So one is for going to Bristol Temple Meads, and one is going back. So you can do it. If you've got a train going from one place to another then going back, you can use the forward and reverse for that particular sign itself, which is quite easy. So that is just showing you some of the things I've done with them. If I come off there now and just come back to my machine. So that is what they are, is each one of those signs is a function. So that one is function 1, function 2, function 3, function 4, 5, 6, 7, and there's an 8 and 9 there. I, there's another one I could put in there, so I haven't done that one. But you have to code them in by numbers. So like on, if you actually look at my Elite here, 
what you've got, if you do it by one of these things, you've got to go G, H, you have to press that twice for an H. So it's, it's a long, I did it that way, that's how I originally did mine. Uh, it was a long process of doing it, but it did work. Um, then what you've got for the clock is here. So what you've got here, each one of these is a, so it's one is function one, two is two. So what you do is you press those numbers and so it's like zero. So if I did uh, zero, one, five, and six, that, that there should change to that, that particular time on the clock. So that is how I did them. But that was, some of this stuff was, you know, two years old when I did all this stuff, so. But what I did then, as I've said before, these are the original uh, Railmaster uh, announcements. And then I went to the air and I put, I put them in here originally. And then what I did then, I actually changed them to my own voice. Then I found the train announcement generator which for 20 quid is the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, I love using it. And what I did for that, I used that and I used Audacity to set up my sounds. So each one of those now has got a program to do in all those. So if you actually go to this one here, which is Grimsby, if you come up here and we go to here, and we look now for... Grimsby, which is there, and that, so that there is 1400, zero, zero. so that's 1400, and then the sign is that one, so it's Grimsby, so it'll do all them, and then it'll play the Grimsby sound. So what I did with them, I've actually got them as <clears throat> zero, 05, away from each other, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and that Grimsby one is how the actual program runs. So if you go onto here like this, and just click this bit here. The next train to arrive at platform one will be the 1400 Trans Pennine Express Service to Grimsby Town, calling at Stockport, Sheffield, Doncaster, Scunthorpe, and Grimsby Town only. Customers are reminded to mind the gap between the train and the platform edge when boarding. This train is formed of three coaches. So we come out of that one there. I don't want that one. And that's how I've done them all. So I go into here and go to the Manchester one. If I go for find Manchester. Somewhere. I think that's the one. Oh, Manchester 2, I think, is there. So you've got a game again. Zero, zero, one, oh, one, zero, three, zero. So that's 1330. So that's how you do it. And then this one here is, is this little sound which file which I've made, which I've shown you how to do those. And that's how I do my program. So again, look, that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I could have put it as five, but that's the way I did that one. And that's how they all operate. Now what I've also done is if I now bring um, I'll bring these trains around for now. Just hang on a second. Now I've been playing around with this one for a little while. It, it sometimes works properly and sometimes it doesn't. And I'll just bring my Scott Rail round. Oh, one, one thing I've actually done is this little signal here used to be up here. The trouble is now these 
some of these trains have got now so big that the actual train is past the signal so we can get the coaches into the platform. So I moved the... It's quite easy to do because all I've got to do is unsolder there, unsolder there, slide it out, bring it along, put it back, solder them back on the track again. And that's how they all work. And I say all my... As you can see, all my signals are, are there working correctly. So what I've done now is this train now, I've done a, I did a program for it. And what I've got now is I've actually been put in the train announcements as well as that as well. So what I've got to do with that is all I have to do on here, because it's a program, I click this one. That has changed to Glasgow Central, as you can't see. And there it goes. Because remember, this is not a sound train. But one of the things with this particular one is that it's it's got halo lighting in as well. It's a special decoder to make it have halo lighting. I've just put on standard lighting for this. But so I say, it's a, I've got the uh, direct rail one as well. But this is because uh, I've done this around. This will now come around here. It should slow down now. Now this is where it's, it's been going wrong. It's it's still not perfect yet. So sometimes it's just warming the motors up it helps a lot. It should by rights come round to here, but it's going to stop here somewhere. I think. I, mean, I thought it would do. So it's a little bit off, but so say I'll just move it up here again. So that's so that's how I, I did all of it. So I built all the one into there so if I actually go to here again if I go into here let me show you this one again and we now go to Scott Rail that's the one and there it is so there's the actual bits going in and then there's it speeding up so there's the actual announcement in as well and what you've got, the only thing we've got to do with these, the problem is, is because the um, train announcement part is not part of Railmaster, what you've got to do is to time the actual thing itself. So if I come out of there now, because I don't want that for now, just click this down here. If I just click on this one, which is my train announcement thing, so what you've got to do is get what you want here. So I'm here like um, if I do Manchester Piccadilly there, and do this one, Longport, Kidsgrove, Congleton, Macclesfield and Stockport. Those are the ones. And it's going to go from platform one, uh, platform two, sorry, or platform three. We're going from platform three. And it's a virgin train, right? There's the time. And then put it on depart. We we'll forget these bits here. So what you've got, if you put all these in, such as like a trolley service, mind the gap, and this one's course is three coaches, so that does that one. What you've got to do then is click this. I've got a stopwatch, and then what I did is timed it, and it come to doing this particular one did for Glasgow, it came to about 38 seconds, or 38 seconds, yeah. So what I did then is I made it 40. So when I actually got the that one up, if you go to this one again, go to Scott Rail one, I think it is. Wait a minute, let's go to Scott Rail. Let's go find that Scott Rail one. 
last one there. So what you've got here, same as here, look, that was when the program started and then I added, or did I added 40 to that. So I've done this program, so then I added, I put it in as a merge, then added 40 to that, 40 to that, 40 to that, and just added them up that way. And that's how I set up my programs. It takes quite a while sometimes to actually run some of these programs, but um, they do work properly. Such as like this class 29, this, this is, um, this has got sound of course. So one of the things is, um, I'll show you this one, while, and I'll run this one, and I'll run the Scott Rail as well. So this one here, I can actually put zero, which puts that light on. The, the other one, which is that one, which is uh, one, that is actually the tail lights. But if I take that out and put this one in, you've now got halo lights. You can just see them, halo lights there. And then you have to press one, the, the one again to actually get the, now look, get the one again to get the tail lights on there, such as that. So if I click that one off there and put it on the main lights as such, <clears throat> and I, I won't put the tail on, so I'll leave it at that. So before I run off and let this thing to do it a little bit, um, if you want me at any time, I'm always here. I'm on 01782302194. My email address is there as well. Uh, if you if you want to find the before I get to that stage, if you want to find the one which I did on the the sign itself, all you have to do with all I've got 100, 139 videos now is if you type in Hornby Railmaster, Brian Hughes, and then the subject you want, such as Cobalt, or this one, which is called um, a sign, you can actually pick them up. So if you go to here, or well, I won't do it. If you, if you go to that part, or points, it'll bring you up to the, the, the videos that I've done in the past. So even I don't know where they are as, as such. I haven't got them numbered or anything like that. So that's the way I have to find them when I'm, somebody asks me about a subject that they want. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this one here, which is the 29, I should run that off the program and I'll run the Scott Rail off on its own on there. So also, as if you go to put in Hornby Rail Master Brian Hughes, you'll get my little logo at the top. And then you get my videos. If you click on the little video, or the little logo, I should say, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little box there that says Donate. So if anybody wants to donate to my uh, channel at any time, they can do so. It doesn't matter whether it's 20p, 50p, what it is. It's most grateful. It actually helps me to do some of these projects. So what I'll do now, I will start off the Scott Rail onto its, its way, which is going there. And I'll start up the Class 29 of the program. As I've told you before, this particular one, the acceleration is set at 120. Basically because the loop is pulling ore wagons. It's not going to shoot off like a rocket. It's made, make it more realistic on the way it actually runs. That will now build up speed until it gets to here, and then it will go at full speed when it hits around there. you have to see this in a second.
Yeah, really? It's up to full speed now. As, as speed is going to go to. There we go. But what I'll do now, I'll just... Turn them all off for now. So, so I said, if you want me, I'm always here, seven days a week, day and night. So you don't disturb me. So please subscribe, and I will see you again shortly. Bye.